Hi, my name is Eden. I'm a plus size yoga teacher, and today we are going to be doing a one minute practice. I'll talk a little bit more about it. It's gonna be fun. You will need a stool or a chair, a yoga bolster, and yoga blocks if they are part of your normal practice. Let's gather our supplies and then I'll meet you on your mat. Dream team, stick together and make history. Golden I wanna take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Audible. Audible is the best place to listen to whatever you're interested in. They have best-selling audiobooks, podcasts, and even celebrity-led meditations. During my recent travels, I wanted to tune out of everything that was happening in the airport and tune in to inspiration. The audiobook Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert is the most amazing book headed into the new year. It just reminds you to catch inspiration while it's there. Don't let it pass you up or it may jump to the next person and sometimes an idea is not for you and maybe you should just let it go and pursue your current interest. If you'd like to try Audible, head over to audible.com backslash Eden or text Eden to 500-500. New members will receive a free month. Remember, anything that you download during that month is yours to keep forever. Let Audible help you find new ways to laugh, <laughs> be inspired, or be entertained. Head over to audible.com backslash Eden or text Eden to 500-500. Like I said, this is a new member offer. So if you haven't tried Audible before, this is a great time to try it heading into the new year to get those good vibes for the new improved mindset that you want to have. Everyone has goals heading into the new year and there's so much on Audible to support you in that, to keep you entertained and to keep a smile on your face during the craziness that happens in the world. We're gonna start the seat. You saw the cards that we pulled for our one minute practice today. We will be holding each pose or practicing each movement for one minute, which is why it's called a one minute practice. But first, we're going to start just by coming into our breath. I'm seated on a ball today because I don't have any other kind of seat. So <laughs> you can use whatever you want. Just come to a seat. We're going to start to come to our breath. I'm going to place one hand over my heart space. And start to deepen our breath. Nice deep breaths in. And audibly let it out. Another breath in. And out. Starting to soften and scan the body for any tense spaces. For me, that's my ankles, so I'm going to release them a little bit. Unclench your jaw, lower your eyebrows, let your shoulders fall. Big ends. Full out. We're going to take an inhale up, arms come overhead. Exhale, palms facing away from you, come down. Inhale, arms come up, facing each other. Exhale, palms facing out, arms come down. The next inhale,
can be on the ground behind you or on your leg, whatever feels the best. And then I'm going to bring my inhale up and my right hand over to the side, pressing into my ball, still keeping my spine somewhat long, not completely collapsing, using my right arm to keep me strong and upright. Nice big breaths here, feeling the whole right side of your body inflate. And let's switch to the other side. Right hand keeping you stable, left hand coming over, feeling a nice stretch all through the left side body, and then breathing into the space we're creating. shoulders a nice roll. We're going to lose our seat on my ball in this case. Right now we're down to all fours. If you need to, get some support under your knees. Bring the hands right under the shoulders. Nice and aligned. And go ahead and drop the belly into a nice cow pose. Head and neck come up, tailbone comes up, and then drawing in the spine and the belly button, drawing drop in the belly button, up the spine, into the cat pose, and down, into your cow, up into your cat. Don't be afraid to play with this. The beauty of being with these poses for a little bit more time is exploration. So it's a nice fine circle if that feels good to you. We're keeping it more traditional. In a minute flies, we're going to go ahead and make our way to our next pose. I'm going to crawl my hands forward just a little bit, tuck my toes, lift the top one into somewhat of a down dog, and then crawl my hands back to my feet. Taking a step up to the front of our back for our chair pose. We're going to go ahead and inhale, arms overhead. Palms face forward and start to lower gently, letting that tailbone come to a neutral position into our chair pose. The beauty again of a minute in a pose is getting to perfect it. If this doesn't feel good, maybe going a little lower might feel good. If that doesn't feel great, maybe coming a little higher will feel good. Remember, it's all your choice here. You can also experiment a little lifting the heels and letting the heels down. Lifting the heels, letting the heels down. Lifting the heels, letting the heels down. And then safely coming out, palms come back to side. We're going to go straight into our next pose, which is a high crescent lunge. So a nice step back, way, way back on our mat. Make sure that your knee and ankle are aligned if that feels good for you. Some people have a little bit more flexibility in the knee makes and over the toe. Arms come up, overhead, back, toes tinted, sinking into that lovely, lovely lunge. Keeping with your breath, pulling that front arch off of the mat so that we're fully engaged. Keeping with that breath. Nice 
and then stacking it forward. Giving yourself a nice little break here. And then inhale and exhale. And then a nice step back. Onto the other side, whichever leg. Just make sure you do both. <laughs> nice inhale up. Exhale, really sinking into this pose. Checking in on the tailbone, checking in that all five toes are in and gripping the mat, that your arch is lifted off the mat, that your belly button is drawing in towards the spine, and that you are breathing. Nice deep breaths in and out. And if this doesn't feel good, there's nothing wrong with coming out for a second and then rejoining. Nice loving breaths. Big ends and big outs. Stepping up. Okay, well, that's great. Giving yourself a nice inhale, then exhale. I feel like the forward fold. Nice inhale, fold it forward. I'm stepping out for this forward fold. Make a little room for the belly if you need to. Big inhales and exhale. I'm going to grab my blocks now to assist me down to the ground into our next pose, Cobra Pose. Coming down to the belly, arms aligned just under the shoulders, giving yourself a nice press up and starting a baby cobra. We haven't done a lot of back work today. Uh, we're going to cat cows, so a baby cobra may feel best. Let's go ahead and lower down. And remember this is an active pose, so the tops of your feet are pressed into the mat. Engage the abs. Focus on elongating the spine. Maybe this time, you are feeling more of a full cobra. Maybe not. Maybe it's choice. Lower back down. One more time. Big cobra here. Lowering back down. Making sure we're engaging. And I'm going to go all the way up here because that feels good for me. Big inhale. Lower back down. Our last pose of this practice, we're five bound angle pose. So you're going to make your way to your back. You may need blocks or our blankets. It's really no choice. So we're going to lay back and the soles of our feet are going to touch. It's butterfly pose <laughs> to a lot of you all. So lay back, soles touching. This is a great way to feel some release in your hips. If this feels too intense for you, there's nothing wrong with adding some support like a block, a bolster, or a folded blanket. If gravity doing its work feels okay for you, then you can lose the block. With your focus being on your breath and keeping the soles together, I'm going to pull my feet up just a little bit higher to intensify that stretch. Something like a strap may feel good if you want to put it against your ankles and grab hold for a little bit more intensity or ease in keeping the soles of the feet together. 
Nice deep breaths. We're gonna hold this for a little longer than a minute. Again, listening to your body. If that doesn't feel good for you, lengthen up the legs. Give your knees some rotations. Let them windshield wiper from side to side on your way out safely. my right sole on the ground. Just lifting my leg up. If lifting straight up doesn't feel okay for you, go ahead, lengthen, give your hips some rotations, and maybe this here. Right sole, left sole, and then just windshield wipe them out, starting heading towards the left and the right. Just letting the knees rock from side to side. And I encourage you, if you have the time, continue to rest here. Maybe place some blocks under your hands. Take a full 10 minutes shavasana. You may want to turn on a guided coaching or a guided meditation. Don't forget about our offering from Audible if you're a new customer. You can head to audible.com backslash Eden or text Eden to 500-500 to get a free month. Listen in to a meditation or say some mantras here on your own. Something that will empower you and invigorate you through your week or into the oncoming week. For the rest of us, go ahead and wrap your right hand to your left shoulder, your left hand to your right shoulder. Give yourself a nice squeeze. Thank your body for all that it did today. Take pride in yourself for making this time today. And I will see you all soon. Thank you all so, so much for practicing with me. It was an honor to be your teacher and I truly hope that I will see you in another video. If you have any questions, need any modifications, head over to Instagram at Eden Loves Life. I'm always happy to chat with you in my direct messages. See you later, yogis. Bye-bye. 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 Hands are weird. Goodbye. <laughs>